Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So we're gonna jump back into this Bud Light foolishness, right? And guys, this has been one of the most entertaining things I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Bud Light, like, crashing into the ground has been more entertaining than any, like, you know, like, anything Disney has put out in the last three years. <laughs> I've gotten more entertainment out of this news cycle than almost anything else on television, guys. Well, I'm just petty, right? So, we all know that, that Bud Light put this Dylan Mulvaney person in a huge mar marketing ad, right? And their business is hurting, okay? So, we're going to look at what this VP in mar marketing, whose idea that that this was in the first first place what they have to say but there's an update on this right and guys it is hilarious so we're gonna jump into this guys but before we do please remember to like subscribe drop a comment because it really helps keep this channel channel going and um hit the notification bell so here we go guys let's jump into this to celebrate a personal milestone and is not for sale to the general public Bud Light had been kind of a brand. Of so this is this VP of mar marketing right here. Alyssa Hennershade. And this person is a Harvard educated, probably grew up in, the, in this college bubble, right? And now they put her in charge of a brand that markets to mainstream America, right? And let's just see what she has to say. Of fratty kind of out of touch humor. Bud Light's vice president of marketing recently appeared on the Apple podcast, Make Yourself at Home. This brand is in decline. It's not been true. in decline for a really long time. Not true. And if we do not attract young drinkers to come and drink this brand, there will be no future for Bud Light. What does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. Bud Light. Now, isn't it funny? how this person that was in charge of this campaign is talking about what's out of touch and what's not out of touch. <laughs> Who would have thought putting this Dylan Mulvaney person in a Bud Light commercial, going from someone like Post Malone or whatever to like this per per person to that Dylan Mulvaney. You want to talk about out of touch, right? So guys, check this out. More Bud Light, a Dylan Mulvaney fall, fall, fallout, marketing executive out. <laughs> and this is from Forbes, you guys. So you, everyone can't say, oh, this is so far right. No, look, Alyssa Hennerscheid, Bud Light's vice president of marketing, has taken a leave of absence, according to AdAge, weeks after the brand was criticized and, bo and boycotted by far-right personalities for its marketing partnership with TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alyssa, but this isn't college. This is the real world where money talks and BS walks marathons, man. And I... I I hope you got those running shoes tied up because because Bud because Anheuser Busch looked at her and was like like what did you just do to our brand like they're looking at the money because the money rules all we this is a capitalistic a, a, a society right and she probably pitched this whole thing it was like inclusivity Bud Light yeah <laughs> and she probably didn't even think that they would give her her walking papers right so here you go. Hennerscheid will be replaced by Todd Allen, who most recently served as Bud Weiser's vice president for global mar marketting. Anheuser-Busch also revamped its marketing staff so that senior marketing em employees are more closely connected to the brand's activities. So I wonder if, like, maybe they think that this person kind of went rogue, this Elisa Hen Alyssa Hennerscheid, right? Maybe, like, she was kind of doing her own thing. And I, I had talked to him in my last a, a video about a lot of the distributors were, were upset because <clears throat> this Dylan Mulvaney thing was done uh, on social media unlike a regular ad campaign that was supposed to be pitched to the distributors and the distributors would have a say.
So she kind of did go rogue. So I guess that they're reining in the marketing de department saying, look, you can't be doing stuff like, like this that's going to piss off the customer base and piss off the distributors, right? Or at least that's what I take from that. Hannerside's absence comes three weeks after Mulvaney shared a video on social media indicating that Bud Light sent her a can with her face on it to celebrate her one-year anniversary of publicity I mean, a publicly identifying as transgender. That caused several conservative pers pers personalities to criticize the brand, including Kid, Kid Rock, some An An Anheuser-Busch facilities have received threats of violence in recent weeks. Anheuser-Busch did not immediately respond to a request for a comment from Forbes. And Hydra Bush CEO Brendan Whitworth said that uh, in a state statement that the company never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people, though he did not directly refer to, Mul to Mulvaney or that partnership. Now, guys, so, well, there's an argument on he's kind of trying to dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge, but I think part of me, part of me thinks that he got uh, blindsided by this, right? Because the whole social media thing and everything's still kind of new to a lot of com companies. And it sounds like this Alyssa person really didn't let the upper ups know really what they were planning to do. Maybe I'm just being naive here. I'm not sure. But either way, it's his fault because he should have known what was going on, right? Um, Hennerscheid, who worked for for Bud Light since June 2020 said in an interview with the Make Your Life at Home podcast that she intended to evolve and elevate Bud Light by having a campaign that's truly inclusive in an effort to attract younger consumers. She also said that Bud Light was in decline for a really long time and referred to the company's previous marketing tactics that got them to where they are in the first place, you guys, right, as fratty and out of touch. The partnership has sparked false claims about the company firing its entire marketing department. Despite the controversy, conservatives boycotting Bud Light have been mocked online. Uh, someone from The Offspring is trying to say that he's going to conclude uh, include Bud Light for products in his hospitality tour. Like, dude, first of all, you're in The Offspring. Who cares about, uh, about you, dude? Mulvaney... A former Bud Light actress has posted videos to her TikTok accounting her the gender transition, blah, blah, blah. She has since garnered more than 10 million followers, blah, blah, blah. Mulvaney, who does not discuss political to topics, I visited the White House. Um, she indirectly responded to the backlash she received this year, suggesting that 2023 is a hellscape. And she, and she, she responds to hate with joy. She's been supported by celebrities and brands, including Nike. And that's another thing, guys, that I'm going to talk about here. I'm going to make a video about this because there's a whole group of, of Olympians that are that are women that are pissed off that Nike par partnered with this Dil Dylan Mulvaney person. Because imagine that you win a gold medal in track and field. You are have a gold, which means that you are objectively the best at what you do, and you're a woman, and yet Dylan Mulvaney gets a Nike sponsorship. Isn't that nuts? Anyways, Mulvaney's partnership with Nike has also drawn conservative backlash, with some calling for a, a boycott of athletic band, brand. Sharon Davies, a former Olympic swimmer, called the partnership a kick in the teeth. <laughs> so guys, let me know what you think about the fact that this knucklehead, this Alyssa Heinz Heinerschfield that was saying that Bud Light is, you know, not inclusive and they're on the decline and fratty and out of touch. And now she, <laughs> it seems like she's out of a job. Well, well, she's on absence, right? But I'm assuming that that it's because they that, that they might not be able to fire her out outright, or she can sue back. So let me know what you think will happen to this person. 
Let me know what you think about the whole thing, like the whole idea of this. And let me know if you think that like the fact that they brought in the global marketing person and that they're trying to consolidate the marketing area means that you think that this person kind of went off on their own and did their own own thing. All right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, point and laugh at these people just like I do. <laughs> and I'm out of here. Have a good day, guys.